now, Star Wars fans, Matt Haywood here to speculate on the huge news that Kevin Feige has been tapped to produce at least one Star Wars movie alongside Kathleen Kennedy. That's right, the father of the MCU is bringing his talents to Star Wars, and that can only be a great thing for fans as the franchise moves past the Skywalker family post The Rise of Skywalker. THR broke the news and has been confirmed by Lucasfilm's Alan Horn. In a statement to THR, Horn explained, with the close of the Skywalker saga, Kathy is pursuing a new era in Star Wars storytelling, and knowing what a die-hard fan Kevin is, it made sense for these two extraordinary producers to work on a Star Wars film together. Well, if he's a die-hard Star Wars fan, that's positive, because we know what he did with his Marvel fandom, so the move makes sense to me. Kevin has legit street cred at this point with geeks, so his inclusion in future Star Wars projects should naturally bolster their standing with even the most ardent of Disney Star Wars critics. I would even think the so-called fandom menace movement is on board with this announcement, again, due to Feige's remarkable run with the MCU. So now we have to wonder what exactly Feige's role will be with future Star Wars projects. If we take Alan's words verbatim, then it seems like Kevin is just working on a single Star Wars movie, but one would think that a talent of his level would be used for more than just a standalone project. It's not too far-fetched to think that Feige is being brought on board to turn future Star Wars movies into an MCU-like affair. This could result in the movies being worked on by Ryan Johnson and the Game of Thrones bros having some sort of overarching connective narrative theme, possibly with Feige's own project intertwined, or as the end cap to set up future projects. Who knows, maybe we start seeing some post credit stingers in the new movie starting in 2022 that help to set up the characters and worlds in future Star Wars films. That formula clearly worked for Feige with the MCU, so I could see Kathy and him adopting it for Star Wars. Again, he could simply just be working on one movie only and got the gig as a reward for making Disney jillions of dollars, but I highly doubt a power player like Feige would only be used for a standalone movie that isn't tied to future Star Wars projects. I mean, that is his M.O. He's perfected it and made Marvel more popular than ever, so his magic could most definitely help to reboot Star Wars, specifically to help get the future projects out of the long shadow cast by the Skywalker saga. Star Wars fans are a fickle bunch, especially when it comes to their Skywalkers, and we know what's going on with a few of them over the Disney Star Wars projects, so I do think part of the reason Kevin is being brought on board is to help bring these fans back around to the idea of Disney doing Star Wars without the core characters and narratives that made fans of Star Wars in the first place. No matter how you slice it, this is awesome news for the Star Wars franchise. I personally love the idea of Kevin being involved at Lucasfilm, and if his Star Wars fandom is as strong and as deep as his Marvel fandom, we should expect great things from him in whatever teams he and Kathy cook up for his project or possible projects. Now it's time to speculate on where he may go with this film. Will he opt for the Old Republic era? Discarded Legends content? Something that ties to what Ryan or the God Dudes are doing? Or will it be completely fresh? Apparently, he's already talking to an actor about a role he has eyed for them, so maybe he'll uh, tap someone he's worked with in the MCU? And no, I'm not talking about Sebastian Stan playing a young Luke. We have to believe Disney and its mantra moving forward that the Skywalker saga is ending with the rise of Skywalker. So while I'd love more content set in this saga, I just don't think it's in the realm of possibilities. Please chime in with your own thoughts below. Do you like the move? What do you think Kevin will be doing? Would you want an MCU-style Star Wars universe? These are all questions to ponder thanks to this move by Lucasfilm. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tune into the Star Wars Time Show podcast, which features weekly shows and is available on most podcasting platforms and YouTube. Please consider giving us a sub, likes, ratings, and reviews on your platform of choice. And remember, if you listen to the Star Wars Time Show, the Force will be with you, always.